If you monitor your liver enzymes, if your doctor looks at your blood panel and looks at your liver enzymes, if your liver enzymes are elevated for a sustained period of time, um, so mine were, the liver enzymes can be elevated for many reasons, but if they're always elevated and they're always higher and they're going in a higher direction, uh, you should be referred to a specialist. So not a lot of people go to get a regular physical. It, the disease strikes mainly women uh, between the ages of 40 and 60. So uh, if you had fatigue, let's say, you might go to your doctor and say, I'm really tired, but the doctor may not check your liver enzymes. So I got my liver enzymes checked and I was referred to a specialist and I had a liver biopsy and that's how it was diagnosed. So it can be, a di it can be diagnosed through a blood test. Actually, um, I just didn't have the second marker, which is even more unusual. So I had the elevated ALPs. If you add that to positive AMAs, sorry if I'm getting too technical, but um, it, you have a slam dunk diagnosis pretty well. Uh, I didn't have both, so I needed a biopsy. So there's, there's, there's a several diagnostic uh, techniques, and then uh, if you respond to the drugs, uh, the one drug that's out there and the ALPs go down, um, then you're lucky and you can hopefully uh, remain damage free. Symptoms don't always go with um, treatment effectiveness. You could still have an effective treatment and have all the symptoms. So they control, pro the drugs seem to control progression. There's a wide spectrum of a small group. <laughs> so every so every person is a little bit different um, and every person's journey uh, is a little bit different some people have had PBC for years but they go undiagnosed and they have misdiagnosed as MS or other autoimmune diseases so it's a, sometimes it's a long journey and sometimes it's a bit late in the journey early diagnosis is the key you can really I believe if you do early diagnosis you can really keep it at bay